today. In this session, we are going to discuss about complex rational algebraic expressions. When you say complex rational expressions, these are expressions whose numerator or denominator contains a fraction. So, fractions over fractions. So, parang ganoon ang mangyayari sa atin. So, dito muna tayo sa pinakamadaling simplify. For example, we have 1 half over 2 over 4. So, para lang yung 1 half divided by 2 over 4. So, for us to simplify this one, so it is equal to, just copy the numerator, 1 half. Then, yung denominator mo, find the reciprocal. Reciprocal lang nito. Reciprocal. Kabalik taran, then change it into multiplication. So, uh, ang kabalik taran niya is 4 over 2. Then, pwede ka na mag-cancellation dyan. So, up and down ng tingin. So, si 4 and 2 divisible by 2. So, si 2 becomes 1. Si 4 becomes 2. Kasi, 4 divided by 2. Then, we have here, 2 and 2. Divisible sila. So, cancelled out yung 2. Cancelled out yung 2. So, magiging 1 na lang yan. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Then, eto magiging 1 na rin. 1 times 1. So, magkakaroon ka ng 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. That is it. Kapag simple fraction lang na walang algebraic expression yan na So, another one. We have here 3 fourths. So, we have here 3 over 4. Then, find the reciprocal that is 6 over 5. Then, up and down ng tingin. Tingnan kung meron pwede i cancel out si 4 and 6. They are divisible by 2. So, 4 becomes 2 kasi 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. Up and down ulit. So, wala na. So, just multiply 3 times 3, the answer is 9, over 2 times 5, the answer is 10. So, this is now your answer. Let us have another example, so yung meron ng mga variables. Number 3, 5 plus 3 over x over 2 plus 1 over x. So, ang gagawin natin dito, simplify muna natin yung numerator. So, kailangan magkaroon muna tayo ng isang denominator dito. So, your LCD here is x lang. Since wala kang denominator dito, multiply mo. x times 5. The answer here is 5x. Then, just copy plus. x divided by x, the answer is uh, 1. 1 times 3, the answer is 3. So, yan na yung inyong simplification dyan. Over. Over ulit. So, simplify ulit natin to. Isang denominator lang ulit. So, we have here x. So, x times 2, the answer is 2x. Then, x divided by x, the answer is 1 times 1. So, plus 1. Then, afterwards, you are going to reciprocal yung denominator. Ito, kopyahin lang yung numerator. So, you have here 5x plus 3 over x. Then, multiplied by reciprocal. x over 2x plus 1. Then, cancellation tayo. Cancelled out, cancelled out. So, magigitong 1 and then 1. Then, dito, wala ka nang pwedeng i-cancel dyan. Kasi, meron kang operation na plus sign dyan. So, therefore, 5x plus 3 times 1, the answer is 5x plus 3. Over, 1 times 2x plus 1, the answer is 2x plus 1. We're done. So, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? Let us have the next example. Number 4, x plus 3 over 9 over x minus x. So, numerator mo lang ay si x plus 3. Then, dito ay meron kang subtraction ng rational numbers. So, ngayon, ito kukopihin mo lang yung numerator mo. x plus 3 over. So, dito naman, you are going to have your LCD which is x. Then, x divided by x, the answer is 1. 1 times 9, the answer is 9. Then, minus x times x, the answer is x squared. That is it. Then, find the reciprocal. So, it is equal to x plus 3 multiplied by, mag siyang x over 9 minus x squared. As you can see, si 9 minus x squared, pwede natin niyang i-factor. So, paano natin siya i-factor? So, Ito ay perfect square, ito ay perfect square. We have difference of 2 square, tama? So, we can factor out yan. So, you have here x plus 3 
times x over. Ang factored out nyan ay lalabas natin yung negative para ito ay maging negative, this one maging positive. Magiging na yung x squared minus 9. O, nagkapaliktad na. Basta kapag ganyan na, so labas mo yung negative sign. So kapag pinactor natin to, magiging na tong x plus 3 multiplied by x over yung negative. Lagyan na natin sa taas yung negative para hindi ka na malilito. Then, factored out natin. So, perfect square yan. So, you have your x and x. So, since difference of two square yan, um, difference of um, perfect square number, so, we have ne positive, negative. Square root 9, we have here 3, and then 3. Then, cancelled out tayo. Sino pwede natin cancelled out? Si x plus 3 at saka si x plus 3. So, ang matitira ay negative x over x minus 3. Hindi mo po pwedeng i-cancel yung dalawang x dito kasi yung denominator mo ay merong negative sign. Is it clear? So, this is now your final answer. So, i-apply natin dito lahat ng natutunan nyo dun sa operations of rational expressions. Dun kay multiplication, division, and then addition and subtraction. Is it clear? Let us have more examples. Number 5. M minus 1 over M squared minus 4 as your numerator all over 1 plus 1 over M minus 2 as your denominator. So, let us have first your numerator. We have here M minus 1 over. Then, pwede na natin to i-factor. Si M squared minus 4, they are difference of 2 square. So, factors ni M squared, we have M and M. Then, positive, negative. The square root lang ni 4, the answer is 2 and 2. That is it. That's your numerator. Over. Ito, pagsamahin natin, gagawin natin na isa lang yung kanyang denominator, which is M minus 2. Since wala tong denominator, multiply mo na agad. M minus 2 times 1, the answer is M minus 2. Plus, M minus 2 divided by M minus 2, the answer is 1 times 1. This one is plus 1. That is it. Then, Find na natin itong reciprocal nito. Pwede na natin to i-combine. So, copy mo yun, M minus 1 over M plus 2 times M minus 2. Multiplied by, pagbalik ta rin natin, we have here M minus 2 over this one. Negative 2 plus 1, the answer is negative 1. Kaya magiging na lang M minus 1. Yeah. Then, proceed tayo sa cancellation. Up and down ng tingin, M minus 1 cancelled out, M minus 2 cancelled out. So, ang matira dito is 1, matira dito is 1. So, therefore, your answer is 1 times 1, the answer is 1. For your numerator, for your denominator, the answer is M plus 2 times 1, the answer is M plus 2. So, the answer is 1 over M plus 2. Is it clear? Let us have number 6. 2 over x minus 3 over y all over 5y plus 6 over x squared. So, this is your numerator and your denominator. First, let us simplify first your numerator. So, si numerator, kailangan pagsamahin natin yung kanyang denominator, find the LCD, so which is xy. So, xy divided by x, the answer is y. y times 2, the answer is 2y. Next, minus xy divided by y. So, matitira si x. Multiply mo by 3. The answer is 3x. Then, all over. So, we have here x squared at saka y. So, unahin mo muna yung x squared kesa kay y. So, since walang common, so your LCD is x squared y. Then, divide. x squared y divided by y. Matitira si x squared. Multiply mo kay 5. That is 5x squared. Next. 5x i x squared y divided by x squared mawawala si x squared matitira si y multiply mo kay 6 the answer is plus 6y then afterwards find the reciprocal of your denominator yung numerator mo i, -i kokopyahin lang natin so 2y minus 3x over xy then multiply natin reciprocal we have here x squared y over 5x squared plus 6y. Then, cancellation tayo. 
So, since dito kay 2y minus 3x, wala nang common factor. Yan na yan. Pati dito kay 5x squared plus 6y, wala nang common factor. Yan na rin yan. So, we are going to cancellation na lang nitong dalawa na to. Bakit? Kasi wala siyang operation, kaya pwede tayong mag-cancel out dito. Si y and y, magiging 1 na lang yan. Then, si x at saka si x squared, cancelled out lang yung x, tapos yung 2 magiging 1, kasi 1 lang to. Okay? So, ganun lang yan. So, o kaya naman, pwede mong paghiwalay yan, meaning yan, x times x. So, mawawala isang x, so matitira yung isang x. Naintindihan? So, that is it. So, si x na lang natira dito, o combine natin doon, multiply So, you have x times 2y minus 3x. Then, over... 5x squared plus 6y. Then, just simplify by distribute the x to your binomial. So, we have x times 2y. The answer is 2xy. And x times negative 3x. The answer is negative 3x squared over 5x squared plus 6y. So, this is now your final answer. So, wala ka nang pwede i-cancel out dyan kasi meron ka operation dyan sa gitna. At wala na rin siyang common factor. Is it clear? Let us have more examples. Number 7. We have 2 all over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 half. So, napakarami, ba So, syempre, dito, unahin mo muna yung pinaka-ilalim. So, ito muna yung pinaka-uunahin mong isolve, si simplify. Then, this one, just copy. So, 2 all over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over. So, ang LCD niya is 2 over. Then, 2 times 1, the answer is 2. Minus 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1 times 1. We have 1. So, wag madilito ha. Then, simplify mo to. So, it becomes 2 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over. So, 2 minus 1, the answer is 1 half. That is it. 2 minus 1 is 1, then over 2. Then, susunod naman, ito naman yung susunod mong isi-simplify. Ere, ito, ito, ito. Ito. Yan. Okay? So, it becomes equals 2 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus. So, for us to simplify this one, ire-reciprocal natin yan. So, magigitong 1 times 2 over 1. Diba? ba? Kasi division yan eh. Uh, numerator over denominator. So, mag eto, find the reciprocal. So, magiging 1 times 2 over 1. What is the answer? The answer here is 2. So, 1 times 2. Did you get it? Then, it is equal to, so, yun yan na. Pag malilito, over 2 over 1 minus 1 over, simplify mo naman to, 1 minus 2. The answer is negative 1. Diba? So, ito magiging negative 1. So, dalawang negative to magiging positive. Negative 1 divided by negative 1, it becomes positive. Tama? So, magiging 2 over 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 become positive 1. Okay? Next tayo, it is equal to 2 over 1 plus 1. The answer is 2. Now, what is 2 divided by 2? The answer is 1. That is it. Is it clear? So, that is for number 7. So, step by step ka hanggang makarating ka sa pinaka-simplest form niya. So, wag malilito kasi pag nalito ka, mahihirapan ka, na, mahihirapan ka ng sundan kung ano yung susunod mong steps. Is it clear? Let us have one more examples. Let us have the last example, number 8. 1 plus 1 over x plus 3 all over 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 2 over x minus 4. So, dito muna tayo sa ating numerator. Let us have the LCD. So, you have your x plus 3 is your LCD. Then, si x plus 3, since wala tong denominator, multiply na agad. x plus 3 times 1, the answer is also x plus 3. Then, x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1 times 1, the answer is plus 1. That is it. Next tayo, let us have the 
denominator. 1 minus 1 over. So, ito muna yung unahin natin, pinakailalim. Over. Ang inyong LCD ay x minus 4. So, x minus 4 times 1 is x minus 4. Then, x minus 4 divided by x minus 4, the answer is 1. Times 2, the answer is plus 2. That is it. Ayan. Then, it is equal to, kukombine natin to, x plus 3 plus 1, the answer is 4, over x plus 3. Then, all over ulit. So, isi-simplify natin to. 1 minus 1 over, it becomes um, x minus 4 plus 2. The answer is x minus 2. Bakit minus 2? Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Over x minus 4. Tapos, ito, re-reciprocal natin dito. Ito naman yung gagawin natin. Ito. So, this one, just copy x plus 4 over x plus 3 over 1 minus reciprocal. Kasi magiging siyang 1 times x minus 4 over x minus 2. Okay? Nasusundan? Then, mumultiply natin yung kay 1, kaya magiging So, we have here x plus 4 over x plus 3 over all over 1 minus, it becomes um, x minus 4 over um, ah, sorry, x minus 2. Ay, na pala, nireciprocal ko na nga pala. x minus 4 over x minus 2. So, yun na yan. So, nilagyan ko siya open ng parenthesis kasi may negative siya dito. Then, afterwards, find mo ulit. So, it is equal to, LCD ulit yon x plus 4 over x plus 3 all over LCD niya is x minus 2. So, x minus 2 times 1, we have x minus 2. Then, x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is 1. So, minus siya. So, distribute na natin. Negative x, then negative times negative, that is positive 4. That is it. Then, cancellation na tayo dito. x minus x, 0 na yan. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng x plus 4 over x plus 3 all over ulit. So, this one magiging negative 2 plus 4 na lang is positive 2 over x minus 2. Then, afterwards, find mo na ulit si kanyang reciprocal nito. So, you have here x plus 4 over x plus 3 then multiplied by reciprocal na x minus 2 over 2. Then, since wala naman ng common sa kanila, wala ka nang pwede i-cancel, ang gagawin mo, i-multiply mo using, eto, you are going to multiply by using FOIL method, this one by distributive property. Let us have the FOIL method. x times x, you have your x squared. x times negative 2, that is negative 2x. 4 times x, that is plus 4x. Then, 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. Then, all over, just distribute 2 to the x plus 3, that is 2x plus 6. Then, combine like terms mo lang. We have it is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2x is 2x minus 8 over 2x plus 6. Now, this is now your final answer. Okay? So, medyo mahaba-haba kapag complex fractions or complex rational expressions ang ating given. Pero, wag kayong malilito kasi ang kailangan nyo lang tandaan, magsisimula kayo da linisin ang kanyang denominator para makuha nyo siya agad. Then, makakakuha kayo na ika-canceled out para lumiit na lumiit yung inyong isusol. Is it clear? So, kung kayo may question, comment lang po kayo sa ating comment box. And that's all for today. And thank you for watching and listening. Bye-bye!